I was diagnosed with sickle cell disease as a baby. So I was born in the UK. My parents have come over uh, to study. My dad was on scholarship, so he brought my mom. Even though my parents didn't know what sickle cell is, still they don't, they sent me back home to my grandma. So I grew up in the Gambia. I came back because of Latifa. Latifa is my daughter, uh, she's three. Latifa was diagnosed with cerebral palsy, her epilepsy. Once I found out she was going to be a girl, the threat of FGM, uh, she definitely wouldn't have any life in the Gambia. So sickle cell, it's a blood disorder. Wherever really blood goes and that's all over your body, it tends to affect it. Last year I had very severe leg ulcer. When I started the um, wrestle exchange, it got better. It took that away, the fear that I might not be able to take care of my child. Myself and another sickle cell uh, warrior, we founded that uh, sickle cell lifestyle magazine. Most times when you see a sickle cell story, it's always about the pain, the suffering. Our life is more than that. We also contribute meaningfully to society. Some people are doctors, some people are lawyers. They are mothers, fathers, their uncles and aunties, and those stories need to be told. Well, one thing the NHS is doing really well is focusing on patient experience. So if I have to be in the hospital the whole day for the whole exchange, I have to arrange care for Latifa. So now they have that in view. Like we say in, in our lifestyle magazine, we are like everybody else. We want the same things, want love, give love, all those things that people yearn for, we yearn for as well. So if you have the right kind of support, yeah, you can really have a good life.